over now to our posh country gaff and with his mind still not made up on who to take to Cyprus, Pete's spending some quality time with Holly. Do you want me to open the gate or do you want to get your leg over? I mean, I can try climb it if you want. I just walk round it probably quicker. Here you go, madam. Thank you so much. What a gent. The sun's come out for us, at least. Sun shining in the middle of a field. Let's take a walk up here. We don't want to disturb the sheep. Why not? I like sheep. Do you like sheep? I love sheep. I love all animals. Even hairy little Yorkshire terriers in biker jackets. Gary's also getting to know his date, Laura, as he tries to move on from Laura. You know the Scottish one. Love Island, Laura. Keep up. I should have me well, to be fair. Oh, my God. Is that an alpaca? So what's it like down where you are, then? Not like this. Not like this? No. No? More like city <laughs> Oh, bike. look! I don't... No, I don't trust that. Yeah, they look like right nasty That one was knocking one out earlier. So how long have you been single? I've been single since New Year's Eve. You spat up on New Year's Eve? Yeah, he dumped me on New Year's Eve. Oh, he dumped you? Yeah. Oh, is it still subject to you? No, right? no, I'm good. I'm over it. Where do you see yourself, then, in, like, a few years' time? Well, that's a really cliche question. I'd like to be like with somebody, um, settle down, you know. I'm 28, so I'm not too old, but I'm not too young, but I would like a family. You look really good for 28. Thank you. Yep, all that cod liver oil must be working for this old girl. Obviously, I'm a little bit older than that. Yeah, but know. you're a man. As last time I checked, I'm definitely a man. Oh, all man. Well, the fact you had to check suggests otherwise. That's good to know. That's a good start, yeah? Yeah, 100%. So, how do you think Gary and Laura are getting on? Think she's into him? Yeah, no, to be fair, I do think she's into him, yeah. I mean, they had a bit of a fun time in the hot tub, didn't they? Something tells me he's not as relaxed as he was last night. Oh, that's a spit at me. It's an alpaca, mate, not an Indian cobra. He's got a funny look in his eye. He's got Pete, Pete Wicks look in his eye. Now you mention it, so much eye in one paddock. Doesn't want your apple, look. Snob, come on, Rejected, come denied. On, mate. Oh, look. <laughs> Let's leave this one. I don't trust him. Pied at the mixer, pied at the fairground, and now pied by an alpaca. Gaz, you really are the gift that keeps on giving. Back at the paddock, Pete's still searching for a connection with his date Holly on a cold metal gate. Sexy. So do you do a lot of dating? Not really, no. No? To be honest, I'm looking for the, a relationship. Not sure you're going to find it here. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of the things that I think... Being back at the agency this time, that's that's probably the different thing for, for me, is that I've I've been around the block quite a bit. Mate, you've been around the block more times than an Uber driver with the wrong postcode. Right. Are you actually looking for something? Yeah, because it gets to a point where you get to... Because we can all be good for a night. Speak for yourself. I'm always... It takes a, a proper person to be good for a lifetime, doesn't it? It's really nice to get to know Holly more and have a chat with a bit more depth. It feels like we can have a flirt, but also talk about more meaningful subjects. She's like Hovis, best of both. She could be exactly what I've been waiting for. As first dates go, genuinely, um, I've had a really good time. No, me too. It's been really nice. Couldn't have come away with, with someone better, really. Oh. I think this was the agent's kind of last attempt um, before we had this trip to find mm -hmm. someone that I potentially had a, an actual connection with. Yeah, OK. Yeah, and do you know what? Like, although all the flirting kind of stuff is, is really nice, there's got to be more, more to something than that. Yeah. And I feel like you're quite an interesting person. Thank you. I feel the same way. Are you a bit cold? Yeah. You need warming up? Mm, potentially. Should we go warm up? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Come let's on, go. <laughs> oh, isn't that a cute picture postcard? We'll go and see what they're, what they're up to. I wouldn't. He's probably got an alpaca in a headlock. Who are you spitting at, you mug? So, what have your other dates been like? Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> pretty much most of them are disaster, to be honest. Oh! True, there are less horror stories on Stephen King's hard drive. One that was lovely, she was a comedian, and then obviously I, I had a date with another Laura. OK. She's, she's beautiful and lovely. Um, so it hasn't put you off Laura's then? No. I don't believe this. It was going really well. I'd stopped thinking about Scottish Laura. Now she's brought her up, she's all I can think about. Somehow I've got to get Scottish Laura out of my head, because for now it's all about Laura number two. Yeah, maybe don't call her Laura number two, just a thought. So, um, yeah, next time, I mean, if we go somewhere else, we won't, we won't go to the country and I won't cook breakfast, I promise. Next time? Yeah. I'm intrigued. Yeah? What's on the agenda? Well, hold on, a bit of sunshine. I would love that. Yeah? Anything marginally warmer than this would be... <laughs> oh. No. 
See what effect you have on <laughs> these animals. He's right? rolling around. Getting ideas, are we? So what are you looking for? What we're looking for? Yeah. Someone I can have like nice life experiences with, go to nice places and whatever, you know? Because a little cuddle and a little, you know. Little cuddle. Little roll around every now and again, be nice. Yeah. I knew it. Frisky alpaca plus Gary's libido equals sexy chat. You've been married before, obviously. Mm. Would you would you want to get married again or is it put you off the whole thing? No, I mean I would have I would have more kids. I mean, I've already got four, but I would have more kids. So how many more kids do you want? I'd have as many as I, I could. We I have a it. football team soon. Listen, I make beautiful kids, so... Um, let's go. <laughs> let's go, let's do it. Hello. Well, listen, there's no one about. I mean, it's me <laughs> and the alpacas. can't do it in front of the alpacas. Yeah. Has he forgotten he's being filmed again? <laughs> he might come and spit on your phone. <laughs> some people love that. Say some people, me. But, I mean, you know, would you fancy going somewhere more normal next time? Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Yeah? Yeah, a bit more one-on-one -on -one time, maybe. You know? Second date and all that. Second date. If I'm honest, I'm not really sure about a second date, but for now, I'm going to go along with it. I don't want to hurt Laura's feelings. Oh, mate. All right, well, should we get away from these alpacas? <laughs> <laughs> I would, the long-necked giraffe, mate. So do you think you're going to see her again? I mean, you basically told her that you were going to... I don't know, but I... Have you a bit? That's just what I do, isn't it? I don't like letting people down. So he fills them up with false hope instead. He says you aren't going to do that anymore. I know, but, you know. She is nice. Yeah, she is nice. She's sweet. You're going to get to know yours better. They do have names, Gary. Yeah, listen, do you know what? I, I do get really well with her. Yeah, you do, I can tell. She's nice. She's, she's, she's fun, but also, when we went for that little walk, there's, it wasn't just all kind of flirty, flirty stuff. There was a bit yeah. more... A bit more substance. Pete version 2.0 with an upgrade. Then I come right. That was... Right, girls. Hey. Serious <laughs> march you had on there. <laughs> you that desperate to go or what? Absolutely not. No. no? You want to stay? A couple more nights. Could do. New Pete, smooth as butter. No, listen, it's been, it's a really, been lovely. Yeah, we've had a really good time. Sorry about the breakfast. Old Gaz, smooth as peanuts. Bye, my love. See that a lot. See you. Mm -hmm. oh, I'd like to see Gary again. I think it would be fun. We did have a cheeky kiss in a hot tub. Maybe second date, it could be a bit more of a... Hand shandy in the bath? Snog. <laughs> I wouldn't hold your breath. The date was lovely. Laura number two. Stop doing that. New Laura, not old Laura. Um, is very, very sweet. I think I kind of checked out a little bit on this one, but uh, maybe I need to give her another chance. I need to speak to the agents about it, to be fair. Yeah, see if they've got any alpacas on their books. I'll Thank do that. Thank you so much. I think it was a fantastic first date. I think it's the best first date I've ever had. I feel like I fancy Pete Wicks. I do. Yeah, he's a good looking guy, he's charming, and he's got a great skincare regime. Personality. Oh, right. Get home safe. Yeah, Thank nice you. to see you, darling. I had a really good time with Holly. I think she's very attractive. She looks great in a hot tub. Bye. See you later. Old Pete would have steamed straight in there. However, new Pete's a delicate gentleman. You know, we have got this trip coming up and it does make me think, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with someone and I want to make sure I make the right choice and Holly is definitely in the running for the trip. So what should we do? Get back in the hot tub? Here in the hot tub? I'd give it ten minutes, lads. The cleaning's still fishing undisclosed white matter off the surface. 